What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 13? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Previously on What If Goku Was Born a Saiyan Kai, we mentioned that Goku and Vegeta has now spent some time inside the hyperbolic time chamber, training with Miris as they both want to go and master their power. While doing so back on Planet Vegeta, Moro has now arrived there as he saw that Planet Vegeta had the highest mortal level and he wanted to go and start absorbing everyone so he can get right back to his 100% of his power. With that, Moro managed to go and get right back but from there, Kel and Khalifa came to stop them as Khalifa went and used her Super Saiyan Blue power while Kel went and used her legendary Super Saiyan. She then went and took on 73 and Moro saw that they were being overpowered so he has now gone and fused with 73, making him perfect. With that, back on Supreme Kai's world, Goku got an offer from the Kai to go and fight with one of the strongest mortal in the multiverse named Jiren. And if Universe 7 wins, Universe 11 will always show respect. Goku accepted that offer as he is gone and now him and Jiren battle has begun. Goku went and used his Super Saiyan Rose to attack Jiren, but Jiren was overpowering him as he didn't stand a chance against him and from there he went and used his Ultra Instinct. While Vegeta went to Planet Vegeta and he started to battle with Moro and when he saw that he was being overpowered he went and used his Destroyer Mode. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? Part 13 Goku has now used his autonomous ultra instinct power yet again as all the gods were there and they were shocked to see that Goku was able to use it since it is clear as day that Jiren was the strongest opponent he has ever fought so far and that he was even stronger than Goku. Jiren then looked towards Goku with anger and said, Is that all you got? You can't even begin to know what I have, Jiren, but let me tell you, are you sure you're ready to see it? I have already seen it from the start. Before Jiren can say another word, Goku came right in front of him and he strike Jiren but Jiren managed to go and catch his fist but before he can make the next move, Goku went and kicked him right in the face. From there, Jiren got up as he was surprised to see that Goku managed to land a hit and from there everyone got shocked, while Supreme Kai began to laugh and said, Goku got this. And as you know it, both Goku and Jiren rushed at each other and they started to go at it. With each landing blow, the entire universe was shaking despite the fact that Whis and Margarita has used their staff to create a shield but Goku and Jiren's force was powerful, strong enough to even go through that shield as they both were going at it and both of them were ready to go and prove who is stronger. From there, Goku went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it at Jiren. While Jiren went and he powered up his ki to 100% and he managed to go and disperse the attack with just his ki. Not bad, Goku, but if that's all you got, this battle is over. Jiren came right next to Goku and striked him in his face and he started to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku for the first time felt powerless inside this fight as he kept healing himself with his power but from there he went and used his eye glass at Jiren but Jiren did the same and he managed to go and kick Goku high in the air. Vermont and Kai began to overreact as they were very happy that they have won this fight while Shinkai looked towards Goku and he gave him a heartfelt speech and said, You got this Goku, remember, you are my pride, the pride for Universe 7, you have already done enough for our universe, but just remember, all the Kais from Universe 7 is depending on you, you are the pride of all the Kais, now show them the true power of a Saiyan Kai. 
Goku upon hearing this managed to go and stop his body. As Jiren saw that Goku was having a lot of steam coming out of his body and from there, Jiren went and he powered up a Ki Blast to throw it towards Goku. But before he can react, Goku came and striked him right in his guts and from there they were going at it. Goku then went and did a flip as he managed to kick Jiren right in the jaw and before you know it, Goku went and he screamed. Goku, after training with mirrors inside the hyperbolic time chamber, he was able to go and push his ultra instinct to the next level, but he needed that one push. Jiren was the fighter to push him, as Goku has now mastered his ultra instinct. This is ultra instinct Saiyan Kai Goku. No way! It can't be! No Kai could ever do that! Not even a destroyer! How can he do that? This doesn't make any sense! How can this Kai do what no one can do before? I'm so surprised! <laughs> That's because Goku is built different. That's right! He's Goku! He's like my son! He is the strongest in the multiverse! Now Goku, show Jiren why you're the strongest! Oh my god! I cannot believe it! Goku finally did what I tried to teach him to do! This is amazing! He has finally mastered his Ultra Instinct! While that was happening, Vegeta has now used his Destroyer mode as Moro saw and said, It won't matter, I'm still at a level that no one can comprehend. You wish buddy, that's something I should say, I'll end you where you stand! Vegeta went and rushed towards Moro and striked him right across his face. Moro flew a bit but he managed to go and stop himself as he charged towards Vegeta and they started to go at it. With each landing blow, Vegeta was holding his own while Moro was struggling to keep up with Vegeta. Bardock and the rest of the Saiyans couldn't believe that Vegeta was this powerful, while Vegeta went and kicked Moro and from there, Moro came right next to him and said, Let's see what you got then. It is time I erase you from existence Moro, you're gone. Before he can release the Hakai, Moro grabbed onto Vegeta's arm and he began to drain his energy and even managed to go and absorb some of his destruction power. Vegeta was weakened from that, but he healed himself with his technique while Moro began to laugh and said, I'm so strong, I can feel this energy surging through my veins, so this is what it feels like to be a destroyer. I'll kill you where you stand, Vegeta. Impressive, you're able to take my destroyer energy, but can you use it to its fullest? Moro went and he lashed out at Vegeta as he striked him right in his face and he started to attack Vegeta. Vegeta was amazed and said, This couldn't go any longer or else I'll be done for. It's time I destroy him where he stands. Let me show you Moro, my complete destroyer mode. Hmm, what did you say? You heard me. I'll show you the true power of a destroyer. Vegeta has now mastered his destroyer mode, as he has now become a full-fledged destroyer. With that, Vegeta went and he walked towards Moro, while Moro was in surprise and he went and lashed at Vegeta and powered up a powerful attack and aimed it towards him. But once when the attack hit Vegeta, he saw that Vegeta stood still, but the attack got erased before it touched him. Moro began to throw a lot of key blasts towards Vegeta, but each time it hit his body, it got erased from existence as Vegeta managed to go and surround his body with Hakai. What's wrong, Moro? Confused how I'm able to use this power? How? That doesn't make sense. I should have had more power than you. You're a fool, Moro. Just because you stole my energy doesn't mean you're able to master it. I'm afraid, Moro, your own technique has backfired on you. Vegeta powered up his fist as he mixed his destroyer energy with it and he added his force spirit fission. With each blow he landed on Moro, Moro was getting weaker as he started to beat the shit out of him and before you know it, 
Moro and 73 has separated. Vegeta then went and he Hakai 73 as he was erased from existence and now he had to do the same with Moro as he went and striked him down to the ground and said, This is where your power fails you Moro, can't even rival minds. Now it's time for you to be gone, Hakai. Vegeta has now erased Moro from existence. With that, Vegeta was revealed that the battle was finally over and from there he went in instant transmission to Plan Namek and he used the Dragon Balls to wish back everyone that died by Moro and to be restored again. While that was happening, back on Universe 11, Goku has now achieved Master Ultra Instinct as he was the first god to ever master that, not including the angels. Goku looked at Jiren and said, let the battle begin Jiren. Goku went and charged towards Jiren as he managed to cut him his cheeks just with his speed while Jiren got mad and said, this won't work Goku. Jiren went and charged towards Goku and he started to attack him, very recklessly, but Goku dodged each and every one of his moves like if there were nothing. Seeing that how strong Goku was compared to him, Jiren went and powered up a large blast and aimed it towards Goku, but Goku stood still as he powered up a small blast and he managed to go and disperse Jiren's attack. Goku then came right in front of Jiren and he uppercut him as he got sent flying towards the sky and from there Goku came right behind him and kicked him down. Being back to a corner, Jiren then begun to remember his past since he knew that he has to do everything he can to win and he did not want to feel weak again. With that, Jiren has now been traumatized so he went and screamed. <laughs> Jiren has now broke his limit, allowing him to increase his power tenfold and now he was able to go and rival Goku's master ultra instinct power as both of them stared at one another and all the Kais knew that this battle is coming close to its finale. From there Goku and Jiren went and they exchanged blow to blow as they were going at it but Goku and his master ultra instinct power was increasing with each hit while Jiren with his limit breaker was able to keep up but he realized that Goku's power were far exceeding his own and said, Tell me Goku, what pushes you to get stronger? My universe, there's always danger. I want to be the one to guide all the mortals to be the strongest in my own universe and for that I need to be the strongest in the multiverse. You're fighting for your universe? That's a load of crap! As Jiren went and he powered up an attack and aimed it at Goku. But Goku went and powered up his Kamehameha wave and he aimed it towards Jiren's attack as they had a wave battle but from there it got dispersed. Goku came right next to him and kicked him right in his face. Jiren tried to retaliate but Goku started to go and overpower him as his speed has far exceeded Jiren his own and he started to beat the shit out of him. And before you know it, Goku went and powered up another Kamehameha wave and he hit Jiren head on. Jiren tried to do everything he can to disperse it but that wave was too strong for him as he got hit head on and he passed out. Goku with his master ultra instinct power has proven to be the strongest in the multiverse as he took down someone as strong as Jiren and now he got the title to be the strongest in the multiverse. Goku then went and he powered up as he healed himself and he managed to go and heal Jiren. Once when Jiren woke up, Goku saw him and said, you're definitely the strongest fighter I have ever fought Jiren, I'm looking forward to our rematch. <laughs> sure you got it Goku, I have a lot to learn, thank you so much for fighting me as they shook each other's hand and now they have become friends with one another. Goku and the Supreme Kai has left back to Goku's world and upon their arrival they saw that Vegeta, Kel and Caulifall were already there as Vegeta looked towards Goku and said, took you long enough? <laughs> Sorry I was kinda busy, but it's good to be back Vegeta, I could sense that your power has increased a lot. Then what do you say we match one another to see who's stronger, a Kai or a destroyer? <laughs> You got it, let's do this! Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born a Saiyan Kai. Make sure you click the bell on my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters. And if you are not a subscriber yet, click that subscribe button so you can be one of the Z fighters.